Today we're heading back in time to look at an old sport getting new life in VA. Adam Longo looks at how it works. I can almost guarantee you have never seen this sport before. Just look at that racket. It's one of the most unique things I've ever seen. We're in McLean today on the fourth floor of a sport in health. This court is known as a court tennis court, also known as real tennis. We're going to talk about that. There are fewer than 50 of these courts in the world. This is Ivan. He's the head coach here. So Ivan, this sport has been around longer than the tennis that all of us watch on TV and play and see courts everywhere. So what's the, what's the hook? What's great about this sport? So regular tennis has been around about 150 years. For a thousand years before that, this was tennis. Advantage server. It's based on a French monastery courtyard from the 13th century. It had roofed corridors going around the outside of an open air courtyard. That big glass wall over there, that would be the chapel wall. And the monks would play with a ball made of horsehair wrapped in leather. So it's originally a handball game. Okay. So it's played today by about 5,000 people around the world. There are 50 courts in the world, 10 of them in the US. Now, is it a dig at the tennis that we all know by calling this sport real tennis? So some people say it's called real as in royal, like Real Madrid. Okay. Um, but we didn't choose that. Tennis kind of, when tennis became popular in the early uh, 20th century, they took over the tennis name, so we were, we were left. It's called court tennis in this country. You're gonna teach me yeah. a little bit of how to play, so let's, uh, let's, let's get into that. All right, okay, so firstly, you're gonna, your grip, you're gonna hold the, the racket as if you were shaking hands. Almost like a hammer. So we're gonna roll the ball up onto this side roof. These side roofs are called penthouses. And you're gonna try and put it any way you like over the net. Okay. Rack it back early. The racket's heavier than a tennis racket that I've played with before. When the ball's coming from behind you. You want to walk out with it. I'm going to hit this one. So I'm going to walk out with it. And that way I've ensured that my body weight's going up. So walk out with it. That's it. Real tennis. That's for real. For the serve to be good, you have to hit penthouse. That's the inside roof. Oh, interesting. Specifically past that green line there. So you've got to get that bit of roof. All right. So I just want to... I... Out of your hand, that's it. All right, there we go. It's called court tennis. It's also known as real tennis. Correct. Is that a dig at the current tennis that we all know? No, we're jealous. Oh. Um, they, um, uh, the man who invented uh, uh, tennis, as everybody else knows it, um, uh, a little bit of a nemesis for us because it was an extremely popular game. And, it, and that happened in the late 1800s. 1873. And this has been around since? It could be a thousand years. It could be a thousand years. Now it's also known as the sport of kings. Why is that? Well, it has had its moments of being extremely popular with the nobility. Um, and uh, it is, you know, the court palace has a court that can be great for them and so do I. Haven, what draws you? this sport? Why is it so ingrained in your life? It has a physical and a mental component to you gotta be fit, gotta be right, your nutrition right, you gotta think about your needs. So there's some head from the neck up and some from the neck down. For older people, as I am, um, it's good that the ratio of above your neck to below your neck is pretty high. Now, are you permitted to talk trash in this game? As much as you like. As much as we like. You're going down. Awful. All right, that's one game. We just, we just won. I did get a point, though, so. and a good workout, so really appreciate it. This is such a fantastic sport. Thanks for showing us around. Really Very welcome.
first of all, I don't know if I can't be the only one who enjoyed how much Haven Pell seems to hate the game of tennis. Like, I'm just imagining him just disgusted every year when Wimbledon comes home. Like, get it off. That's not real tennis. Yeah, yeah. He, he's one of these guys that has played at every single court tennis court or real tennis, royal tennis court there is in the world. There's only 50 of them. He's been to all of them. So one of the courts is actually in a place in England, um, Hampton Court Palace. This mm-hmm. is Henry VIII's palace. So in between Henry VIII, you know, sending off his wives to be beheaded, he was actually into this game. Um, and so that's one of the courts that was, that was, that's still there at the palace. Now, one interesting thing about Ivan, the head coach who you met in this mm-hmm. story, his parents were court pros at that court because it's still an active court. He lived at the palace. Wow, that's impressive. That's because like a nice get in the back door. Yeah, you know, yeah. You Nobody lives there now, but it is still active. So the, the place that you saw there, it's on the fourth floor of a sport and health in McLean. Air conditioning wasn't really uh, getting all the way up to the fourth floor, so it was hot. It was sweaty. Now, they've actually... Uh, I don't know if they've, they've ended their lease, I guess. They're just mm-hmm. going to be separating from the sport and health. They're actually building uh, a brand new one of these court tennis courts at Westwood Country Club uh, in Vienna. One of the really cool things about it, too, is if you, somebody asked me how to describe it, talk, top around a second ago, just basically take tennis and racquetball and smoosh it together. But the courts are disproportionate. Like right? one side of the court has some stuff. Other side has other stuff. It's really a game that you can't only play with strength, but you got to play it with your head as well. So clearly you, if you found this as your new outlet because you need one. I would love to do it if I didn't have to seek out every court in the world. There's only 10 in the U.S. Listen, uh, interesting stories, cool people. We're all about that here at Open Mic. Find me on social media or email me some ideas. Alongo at WSA9.com. I want to come to your neighborhood and see what's up. I can see you being the John McEnroe of Real Tennis.